My name is Sophie Earnshaw, and I'm a manager of the Bailey Gifford China Growth Trust. To recap, in September 2020, Bailey Gifford were appointed by the board to manage what was the Witten Pacific Investment Trust. The board gave Bailey Gifford the mandate to refocus the trust away from the Asia Pacific region and instead focus it solely on the most important and arguably most exciting market of the coming decade, China. Consequently, the trust has been renamed the Bailey Gifford China Growth Trust and the portfolio invested into the 40 to 80 Chinese companies that we believe are most likely to deliver outstanding growth over the next five to 10 years. In today's video, I'll explain what we've done in the portfolio since reorganization, give a brief update on performance, and then share with you our outlook for Chinese growth companies. But first, I'd like to reiterate the trust's investment philosophy. So we're long-term growth investors managing a high conviction portfolio of what we think are, the, are China's most exceptional growth companies. Our philosophy has three core principles. First, long-term. Our investment horizon is five to 10 years in a region where the average holding period is only a couple of months. This is a significant differentiator and a strong driver of returns. Second, we're active. We look for the best 40 to 80 Chinese growth companies, regardless of sector or industry, and we hold them in size. We're willing to be very different to the benchmark, as we believe differentiation is a key condition for delivering superior returns. Finally, growth. China has some of the most exciting and transformational growth companies in the world, and our philosophy is centered on finding them. Indeed, our experience of investing in China over the last three decades has been that it's the highest growth companies that have typically delivered the most attractive share price returns. Thanks to our experience, um, size, and unusually long investment horizon, we're often sought out to be early investors in the best unlisted Chinese companies. The enlisted opportunity set is one that we're really excited about for the trust. Indeed, in the medium term, we'd expect at least 15% of the trust to be invested in private Chinese growth companies. Since the portfolio's reorganization, we've made a number of new purchases and sales due to a substantial number of exciting opportunities. Of note, we made our first investment in a private company, ByteDance. ByteDance is a social media and short form video company. It was founded in 2012 and has since grown to become the world's largest short form video app with over half a billion users. Monetization of these users is only just beginning and ByteDance has a substantial growth opportunity ahead of it as a result. The company benefits from a technological edge in artificial intelligence, which has allowed it to continually innovate. Indeed, we believe ByteDance has the potential to be a generation-defining media company and one that may deliver exceptional returns to shareholders. We've also bought a number of holdings that are broadly exposed to Generation Z, um, a cohort with increasing consumption power and radically different tastes to their older compatriots. PopMart is an example here. This is a toy company that utilizes a collectible blind box model, whereby consumers are unable to see in advance which toy they've purchased. This model and the toys themselves have proven to be very popular with younger consumers in China. Indeed, the company is rapidly building a brand in the collectible space. More broadly, we believe that Chinese consumers will increasingly opt for homegrown IP from the likes of PopMart instead of imported Western IP from the likes of Marvel or Disney. Other new holdings include Dada Nexus, a leading last mile delivery operator with a nascent Ocado style offering, and Lufax, a leading financial services business and one that's extending credit to underserved segments within China. In terms of funding, we've sold a number of companies in a variety of industries. These include Higher Electronics, a leading white goods manufacturer, Illy, a milk and beverages producer, and Baidu, the leading search engine. All these companies were sold due to concerns surrounding the long-term growth outlook for their core businesses.
In the six months since reorganization, the Trust's NAV has grown by 10% and the benchmark has delivered a return of 6%. As one would expect for a largely bottom-up investment process, notable positive and negative contributors are diverse. Positive contributors include Billy Billy, an online video platform, CATL, China's leading EV battery manufacturer, and Xilabs, an innovative biotech company. Notable detractors over the period included Berry Genomics, which is a gene sequencing company, um, Aichi, a video on-demand company, and finally Yatsen, a disruptive online cosmetics company. We believe it's unwise to infer anything from such a short period. Instead, we'd ask that shareholders judge us over a more meaningful time period, such as five years. As the first country to emerge from the pandemic, China has delivered robust economic and corporate performance to date. However, the long-term growth story for China is only just beginning. The combination of a vast and growing domestic market, significant investment in research and development, and public and private equity markets that remain poorly understood and very short term, give long-term growth investors like ourselves a real opportunity to add value. As such, we look to the future with optimism.